Sooner Scoop HD. What is, I mean, face in Texas, I mean, with what you guys have been through, how, how much of it that can be a lift for this team or has it been through practices this week? Um, I think just as much as it's the next opportunity, you know, we're kind of, uh, I feel like the post of our team right now is we're a little bit, you know, we're madder than anybody out there, um, just at the way we played in the last two weeks. And so, you know, this is our next opportunity to go and, you know, put what happened in the past to rest. So uh, that's how I feel about it. Uh, I think we're doing a great job of uh, just trying to stay prepared, and uh, we know we got a big one coming up. Um, we're preparing for this game like we do any other. So, I mean, we know it's going to be an emotional game, and it's going to be a lot of a lot of fire throughout that game. But we're just comparing. I mean, preparing like we have been. It seems like discipline's a word that's mm -hmm. been used quite a bit with uh, Brent with us. Mm -hmm. Just. What does that mean defensively for you guys? I mean, just staying in our gaps and uh, really knowing our responsibilities. I know we, last game we had a couple of busts, and uh, we just got to get those few things corrected because, I mean, it, was, it wasn't it was all bad. We had good stuff on tape, and just those those mistakes that we're making, the, the, the opposing teams are just taking advantage of it, and, and they're making plays out of it. So we just got to stay disciplined to, to whatever he tells us to do, and we got to know our job. And you've been here for a long time. You've, you've seen the ups and downs of the defense. As a leader, what are the things that you look for from your teammates? You talk to them about to, to overcome this to where it doesn't become a bigger issue. Yeah, um, I mean it's kind of like what I was just saying. Um, it's one of those things. It's a problem, uh, but I think what's most important is that we just we got to learn from it. We got to move on. I mean, you can't dwell in it too long, or it'll bring you down for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, but it's also one of those things you can't just sweep it under the rug either. Um, I think our coaches have done a good job of kind of uh, leading us through that and, you know, making sure that it's still kind of a little bit sour, um, but at the same time, like, we moved on from it and, um, you know, it's kind of like a chip on our shoulder. You know, it's, it comes down to being precision, you know, the fundamentals, the precision of the fits uh, starts with where your eyes are, where you get lined up, you know, because we don't take anything for granted as coaches, you know, going back to the ABCs of you know, playing football and stopping the run. And uh, whether it's proper leverage on the football, like I said, the precision in the fits, the tackling, uh, it all goes hand in hand. And, uh, you know, so we work on that every week. It's not like we go for three weeks, we emphasize it, and two weeks we didn't. That's not, that's not how, we, how we do it. it uh, it's, it's unfortunate, um, disappointing, uh, frustrating, but at the same time, um, you know, today's Monday of a new week. And we certainly understand what's happened, and we've got to get it fixed. Honestly, I think it's a preparation thing. Uh, I think we could do a little more uh, when we're not in practice, when we're in the film room, whether it's uh, being like throughout the day, uh, getting up and just watching extra film and those type of things like that. Because, um, like I say, the, 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 the past couple years, the, the defense hasn't been as complex as this one is. So we got to do a little more just to just to make sure we're prepared for, to go out and play. Is it hard to battle that PTSD from last year, like things seeping back in and trying to kind of with a new slate and everything that's new here? Uh, no, not really. I mean, we like I said, we just got to go out and play and go out and compete just like just like any other game. In the sense that there's too much panic around here as far as the way that you guys have played defensively over the last two weeks. Is that accurate? Uh, panic, no. It's uh, if you can see, if you see, uh, watch the games uh, as we watch uh, film again. It's just little things. It's attention to detail. So um, I don't think it's too much panic, but um, you know what I'm saying. We're definitely, we're definitely trying to fix those little things and, and still carry on with the game plan as well. Discipline, kind of the number one, I guess, keyword buzzword coming out of that. Mm -hmm. Is you guys have to have discipline. You're gonna play good defense. Hundred percent. So if you see, if you see um, the other teams, the two, the two losses that we have, they play with tremendous discipline, and and they went with their, you know, bread and butter, and they know they went with their comfortable with, and they execute. Execution goes with discipline. Is it one of those things where you you look at the tape and you see where it goes wrong? And it almost makes you, I don't know, angry that you yeah. guys can't put it together or haven't yeah. put it together? I, I mean, what makes you the most, or what makes me personally mad is just that there's so many little things, you know? I mean, little things that if we take off the tape, those two games are dramatically different. Um, and so, uh, obviously there are a lot of things that are alarming that we need to address, you know, tackling um, our communication and stuff like that. But, you know, you take a few mistakes off the, the film and you know it's um, we're we're feeling a little bit 
better right now at 5-0. Oh. But, you know, that's not the case. Um, so we just got to learn from it and keep You going. guys. Well, again, I, I think it comes to, you know, our desire's been there. Our discipline hasn't. And it takes discipline. That, it, foundationally, it's where it all starts. We got to uh, play with better discipline. Um, again, you know, things that I've I've said countless times. And, uh, you know, uh, and it can be the smallest things. It can be one guy. Uh, you know, it can be being inside as opposed to outside. It can, uh, you know, being underneath as opposed to on top of. Just we got to play with better discipline. That's where it all starts. If we don't do that, uh, we'll have the same kind of inconsistent results. In the first three weeks, I thought we played with really good discipline. Last two weeks, um, you know, not as much. Um, it's uh, definitely really just been, you know what I'm saying, tackling. That's just on film, you know what I'm saying? But we're definitely, I mean, we're, we're a great defense. We're, and we just, again, it's little details. It's, it's no discouragement. When, when we look at the film, it's like, ah, you know what I'm saying? It's something small. It's not, it's not a big thing. It's not, we don't have to change the scheme. It's really small. So everybody's attention to detail and everybody's intensity is going up because that's what we know we need to work on. So, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're headed first side. We, we know we got to take care of that. So The first, two, first three weeks, we play great ball. We play great ball. The last two weeks, we've been made mistakes, and I think it's been a, a huge discipline thing. And that's why our coach is emphasizing that. Um, if we just play discipline and play our game, it's gonna be it's gonna be good for us. On um, practice, for sure. So if you if you um, if you if you're not disciplined in practice, and you, sometimes you get away with it going with the scouts. You know what I'm saying? You, scouts not gonna be game speed. Sure. Um, it's, 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 you have to practice. You have to practice with intent. You have to practice with the same intent. So this game, when you get to the game, it's, it's the same. You, it's second nature. So I, I think it's built on reps. You know, um, you know, the more you rep something, the more you're confident you are. Uh, just knowing your job, knowing where you're supposed to be, knowing where the people around you are supposed to be. I think that's a really big thing. Just to be able to play at a high level. And so um, I feel like that's kind of where we are right now. We're trying to get a lot of guys to just understand, you know, their job and the jobs of the guys around them, so, so they can just uh, play with a better level of, level of anticipation. Uh, that's what we're doing. You definitely have to communicate more, and, and, and we've been doing that. We emphasize that every day with with the two losses. So um, there's never n enough communication to to go through and practice. If if it's an extra, if it's an extra, you know, what I'm saying, get the call out or get the call to the boundary corner or whatever. It, then so be it. Like we have to, we have to make it happen. So communication, there's never an, enough communication. This is an opportunity to bounce back. It's kind of an opportunity for um, 128 to really sort of uh, be a story of, of, it, of inspiration. You know, um, we've kind of had you know a little setback, obviously, within the last two weeks and two really big disappointing losses. But um, you know, it's an opportunity this Saturday at 11 o'clock to not maybe right all the wrongs, but to begin, you know, that process. And so that's what we're focused on. Sooner Scoop HD.